بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم You see, we are all drunk. The man who has not broken that bottle and run to find someone to say, help me to get rid of this addiction, he is still drunk and he wants to be drunk. Because to be drunk, is a state that is not natural, correct? You have to push yourself to do something to be in that state. Because man's uh, natural state is to be awake and to be aware, to be observant. Never to be under the influence of something that makes him to lose not only his intellect, but his spirit. Now, they said to Hazrat Rumi, saying to him, why is wine forbidden in Islam, in the Quran? And he says, because Allah is also says, in wine there is good in it, and there is bad in it, but the bad outweighs the good. And Hazrat Rumi is saying, because man's true characteristics come out when he's drunk and for the majority of the men their real characteristics are worse than animals so when they get drunk that gets released it's not the spirit but if the man realizes that he's drunk which is a uh, No drunk man doesn't know he's drunk. Can we say that? Can we say that? Every drunk man, he knows he's drunk. Correct. He says, oh, I'm getting drunk. <laughs> he knows. So if he realizes that he's drunk, so now, what do you want to do? You want to remain drunk? Remain drunk. We have to deal with the consequences. You want to wake up? Wake up. You will have consequences too. Because there's nothing in this world, if there's anything that we learn, everything is cause and effect. You do something, you get something. There is a cause and there is an effect. But this cause and effect, it is very, it's not like this, or like this, you understand? It goes around and around. It is very complicated. But... The man who understands that he's drunk and he wants to get rid of it, now he's going to find a way, a means to help him. He knows that he's beyond, is beyond himself now. He says, either you help me because I cannot, I cannot get rid of this problem myself. Eh eh? Eh eh? You can give that man who is drunk when he comes out from that as many books as you want to read why it's bad to be drunk, why he's destroying himself, his property, his family, his relationships, his whole world. Now, we have to understand when we talk about being drunk here also, I'm going to come to your question. This is related. Don't worry. It is not just individual. Oh, what are the health benefits or the health harmful health uh, effects of Megan. It's not just individual, please. That is showing how uh, low our understanding of things are. Because this situation now, it doesn't just involve individuals, it involves whole communities, it involves countries, it involves nations. It involves lives, it involves generations. You understand? What was done in one drunken night could have repercussions for generations to come that they still cannot stand up because of that one night. So, <coughs> you 
If he says, I cannot get rid of this myself, he had come, came to that station of understanding, and now I need someone to help me. That even in this very organized and effective Alcoholics Anonymous, AA, they don't just give you books to read. You can person can read, cannot get rid of it. You can watch movies, cannot get rid of it. People can it cannot get rid of it. Now you have to have a whole community to support you. Not only that, they make sure now in that situation to assign one mentor. <laughs> one and one. That you must always talk to, hey, I'm going through this thing, what do I do? It's now what is all of that if it's not something that is so similar and so closely related to spirituality? So now you say you commit a sin over and over and over again. It doesn't matter what that sin is. Let's use the word, you do an action that is not too pleasing to Allah. Do an action that is not too pleasing to yourself, to those around you. And you can't seem to get out of it. Now what do you do? If you are sincere that you want to get out of it, you will run, you will try to find some help. And if that help is good, it's going to have a whole system and a whole community to help you. But you cannot be alone. If you say, I can kick this by myself, you're not being honest. You're not being sincere. You still want to do it. And this is related to what <laughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying what in the Quran al-Kirim? Be a Jamaat. Because he is Jami. Another name of Allah is Jami. The one who gathers people together. And he says, be a Jamaat. Be a group. Because in that group, in that flock, you'll find safety. If you are separated from that flock, even if you have a shepherd, but you're separated, you will not find safety. We can speak about why things that you are doing, why you're doing it, this is wrong, this is, but you understand that too, and you want to stop it. You want to stop it? Find a guide. Find a jamaat. Then hold on. And that time, in your journey to stop that wrong action, Sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. It's okay because you are on board the ship. You are not trying to swim by yourself. You get tired, you drown, you just give up. But you are on that ship now. You throw up, you get sick, it doesn't matter. Because you are still in safety. Because you are still in that ship. You are still in that jamaat. Once you come out, and this is up to everyone's. It, this, is, this is your own choice. You have to use now the free will that has been given to you to put that in your life. May Allah make it easy, inshallah. Al Fatiha. <laughs>